The journey threading the path of destiny. Every morning, Nana would walk miles to draw water from the well. The path was familiar, carved by the footsteps of many before her. Yet each journey felt anew, like the fresh breeze and sunrise with each new day. Nana would start the journey at 6 a.m. Every morning, she will arise and spend time in prayer and then prepare to walk the roads of Yendi to get water for her family. The water basin balanced gracefully on top of Nana's head was not just a vessel for water. It was a display of her daily commitment to honor and to display service to her family. Daily, as Nana threaded the road to draw water, she would cross paths with different men. Nana was a beautiful woman that many people admired in town. Her smile as full as the sun and her skin and hair rich with goodness. Men had come and gone like the seasons, each promising heaven on earth to Nana but always leaving her without fulfilling their promises. Nana grew cold towards men, having to learn the art of detachment. To love from a distance, Nana guarded her heart. She refused to be a prisoner to any man's love. After all, She had been hurt over and over again. She had danced enough to the tunes of so-called men who didn't know what love truly was or what she thought it was only to be left to sing her own lullaby. The only constant and unwavering Unconditional love came from Jesus. Nana loved the Lord. In him, she found joy, peace, and strength. Everything I need is in Christ alone, my Savior, Nana said. Then one day, came a man named Kwame, whose presence on Nana's path seemed as incidental as the wind but we know that nothing is by chance because God orchestrates things. Kwame's interest in Nana was so clear as the morning sky. His intentions were pure but Nana's heart became like the prison walls not easily breached. She had encountered men like Kwame in the past, so she refused to be a fool for love for any man. You see, Nana was a woman of wisdom. In all her ways, she sought God because she knew that he would never disappoint her. One day, as Nana was walking back on a long journey from the well, her water basin shook from her head, spilling the water that Nana had took time to fetch. Like tears upon the dry ground, the sound of water made way to nourish the flowers. It was a moment of anguish. But Nana 
gently picked up her basin. Seeing her struggle, Kwame came to her aid, not as her suitor, but out of kindness, he came to be of service to Nana. They stood, exchanging words, smiling together. They walked back, a journey of solitude, but of rather a shared purpose. Kwame offered to fetch water with her. His actions speaking in a language her heart had long forgotten. In that act of kindness, Nana saw not just the man, but God's light shining through in the times they shared together. Kwame became her unexpected companion, not just on the journey for water, but in the walk of life. He was a divine helper, sent by God. A true testament to the power of God and the beauty of God's divine timing. Through Kwame, Nana learned that the past with its scars and closed doors should not create a blind spot for one to see the possibilities of the present. God is faithful and can use what looks like ashes in our lives to create something so beautiful. So may we be reminded by today's story that no matter what we have been through, God can use what seems like a mess into a message. Each and every one of us have a story to tell. There is nothing that God cannot use. He uses the broken things to create something so beautiful. So just like Nana, share your story so that others will also be encouraged. In all your ways, give the glory unto the Lord. Because he alone is worthy of it all.